Okay. Holding Captiva. <laughs> Uncaptivating the title, yeah. I remember when these come out, these are built in South Korea when General Motors bought out Daewoo, renowned shitbox vehicles. Um, and I might remark that uh, Hyundai has not so long ago bought out Kia. Um, also, uh, oh, I've heard some bad stories about some of the old Kias. Overheat within 70 to 120 kilometres on your first holiday trip because before that you only ever drove them, you know, just to the shops or just to drop the kids off at school in the city and it was only a, literally a couple of miles. And when you get a chance where it's really got to, uh, you know, heat up, uh, you find out the terrible truth that the uh, cooling system was never done properly. But that's the key is these are basically uh, made by Daewoo after General Motors bought the factory um, in Korea uh, and basically bought out the auto manufacturing arm of Daewoo, not the electronics manufacturing arm and not the military manufacturing arm of Daewoo. And uh, Daewoo used to be the second largest manufacturer in the world. Um, I see a number of these things come up in these online auction sites. Most of them have things like note engine noise, you know, the engine's going glug, 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 and there's something really going on when it's idling. <laughs> As it says in here, <laughs> you know, uh, there are plenty of series one and two, so you can afford to shop around, especially given Captiva's checkered reputation for reliability. This makes it essential to give anything you might purchase a thorough check. Um, been variety of issues reported to us, including camshaft and rocker bearing failures in the diesels, timing chain problems with the petrols, transmission and driveline failures, faulty fuel pumps, excessive tyre wear and wheel alignment problems, various electrical system issues, high oil consumption, suspension problems, general oil leaks, and numerous more minor niggles. Holy smoke! Holden has issued a number of recalls. Holden is basically your General Motors in Australia that generally speaking builds stuff well, well, well above the quality that you would expect in the States. In fact, the um, Chev SS is actually built here. Uh, so the quality that you're going to get in those is probably actually tamed down a bit from the local version that we have here, uh, which is the standardised family car and uh, quite a number of cop cars. Um, similar to the ones the LAPD have taken on, except that uh, the LAPD, uh, they have really, really, really good brakes on theirs, exceedingly good brakes on theirs. Um, and they're also built here, the LAPD ones. Um, yeah, Holden has issued a number of recalls and kept even in the past few years. While most vehicles involved should have been rectified, it's worth checking that they're actually taken in and had the stuff done because some people just don't bloody bother. Uh, there's a particular Chinese vehicle here called the Great Wall, which are also very common in Russia. They're actually shockingly good um, for what you'd expect, although they look, they've got Mitsubishi um, drive line and Mitsubishi petrol engine, and they were using a Chinese made diesel engine. Uh, and, you know, there's elements of them that have, well, the whole dashboard and instrument panel is just a complete copy of the General Motors light truck slash ute. Um, they actually aren't that bad, the Chinese Great Wall, except that uh, the diesel one, I think it was, had a asbestos gaskets for the head and the uh, exhaust manifold and probably the inlet manifold as well. And uh, so they had a recall, change the gaskets, and all the ones that had the gaskets changed, the gaskets all failed because the engine was designed from scratch to have asbestos gaskets. And there's one person locally who's left it with the asbestos gaskets and the engine still runs like a dream while so many other people ended up warping the head or something like that um, six months after they had these uh, non-asbestos gaskets put on. 
So anyway, you really got to uh, <laughs> think about where vehicles are made because um, it can have a uh, big bearing on the quality. And I will tell you that South Korean vehicles, Hyundai's are good. Uh, wouldn't trust basically anything else out of South Korea. But it doesn't mean I won't be a wrecker for them because guess what? There's going to definitely be a market, isn't there? Yeah.